Windows Server 2022 is the latest operating system for use with servers from Microsoft. As it's designed to cover small office servers right up to full data center deployments, it's available in three versions. Windows Server 2022 Essentials, Standard and Data Center. But what's the difference between them and which one should you choose? Well, let's start with the Windows Server 2022 Essentials Edition. Although it does include many of the features of the larger editions, it is designed purely for small office deployments, so it has various limitations when it comes to hardware and scalability. For example, it only supports up to 25 users or 50 devices, and there's no upgrade path when these limits are reached. Similarly, the server it's deployed on can have up to two CPUs or a maximum of 10 CPU cores, paired with just 64 gigabytes of system memory. The Essentials Edition also lacks any virtual machine or containerization capabilities, further emphasizing its focus on small businesses. In contrast, the standard and data center editions scale to much greater hardware specification and user numbers. Both of these versions allow unlimited users or devices, can scale up to 64 CPUs, 1024 CPU cores, and 24 terabytes of system memory. And although both versions also support unlimited containerization of applications, the main difference is when it comes to virtual machines. The standard edition supports just two, whereas the data center version is unlimited, reflecting its focus on supporting very large organizations where extensive virtualized environments are not uncommon. When it comes to technical features of the three editions, there is some commonality with all editions, offering Windows Admin Center to manage your servers, clusters, and Windows 10 and 11 client PCs and laptops. Other features include System Insights powered by a machine learning model that locally analyzes Windows Server system data to provide high accuracy predictions that help to reduce the operational expenses. And finally, Network Controller provides a centralized programmable point of automation to manage, configure, monitor, and troubleshoot. The standard edition then adds features such as device health monitoring capabilities to integrate with Windows 10 and 11 mobile device management and hybrid integration that enables you to work with both local and cloud servers. In addition, the data center edition adds software defined storage and networking capabilities alongside hyper converged infrastructure support, plus advanced security features such as encrypted virtual machines. Having covered the capability differences and feature sets of each of the three editions, it's worth mentioning the licensing implications too. The Essentials Edition requires no licensing whatsoever, but as previously pointed out, it does have very strict user and device limitations. When it comes to the Standard and Data Center Editions, they're licensed per physical CPU core. The standard installations are licensed for 16 or 24 CPU cores, so if your server has more cores than this, you'll need to buy additional CPU license packs, and these are available in various multiples such as 2, 4, and 16 additional cores. Additionally, external users must be licensed with either an individual user or device CAL, standing for Client Access License. Now, which type of CAL you choose should depend on the way your network users interact with their data. With the user CAL, you can purchase a CAL for every user who accesses the server to use services such as file storage or printing, regardless of the number of devices that they use for that access. Purchasing a user CAL might make more sense if your company's employees need to have roaming access to the corporate network by using multiple devices or from unknown devices. With a device CAL, you purchase a CAL for every device that accesses your server, regardless of how many people use that actual device. Device CALs might make more economic and administrative sense if your company has workers who share devices, for example, on different work shifts. Now, when you purchase bespoke 3XS servers from Scan Business, our experts will install and pre-configure Windows Server OS software on your hardware, and they'll also advise you on CPU core licensing and CALs to ensure that you're correctly licensed on delivery. Don't hesitate to get in touch with the Scan IT team and subscribe to our channel for further tech explainer videos.